Hello everybody out there. My name is Bernadine Boulay and this is my husband Toby Boulay and we are the very proud parents of Logan Boulay who is the reason why there is Green Shirt Day. On April 7th, 2018, a day after the Humboldt Broncos tragic bus crash, our son Logan, a defenseman on the team, was not able to overcome his injuries and he passed away. We were fortunate to be there and offered to donate his organs so that six lives could live on. We did so because Logan told us he was registering to be an organ donor on his birthday, just weeks before the truck crash. He was inspired by his coach and mentor, Rick Suggett. Rick passed away on June 27th, 2017, and he too was an organ donor that saved six lives. As news spread of Logan's organ donation, it is estimated that almost 150,000 people have registered to become organ donors in the days and weeks that follow. To date, this is the largest number of Canadians registering to become an organ donor Canadian history due to one event, one person. Green Shirt Day was created to honor, remember, and recognize all the victims and families of that fatal crash and to continue Logan's legacy by inspiring Canadians to talk to their families and register as organ donors. I'm a grade two teacher here in Lethbridge, Alberta. At my school every year, we've been very fortunate to be able to recognize Green Shirt Day with numerous activities bulletin board displays, and an amazing assembly that our grade two students present to our whole school. We share about organ donation and transplantation and the importance of having a conversation with your family about these. If elementary age children take home the topic of organ donation and transplantation and start the conversation, it becomes a less daunting topic. It becomes just a talk. The children see organ donation as a way to give to someone else to make someone's life better, to make their family's life better, to save a life. It is not a scary topic or a topic about death. It's about helping others. So we would like to challenge all elementary schools in BC to take on the Green Shirt Day Challenge and see what you can do. Just get involved, put your school in the running for a prize. It takes nothing to be involved. It's exciting, it's fun and you're doing something for society, you're doing something good. The rules are simple. On or before April 7th, have your school engaged in an activity that recognizes Green Shirt Day. The options are only limited by your imaginations, so you could do anything. Here are some ideas to get your creativity primed. Students and teachers could all wear green shirts to school on that day. They don't have to be official Green Shirt Day shirts, just wear green. Paint a heart on everyone's face. That's my heart, see? I taught high school, I'm not that good at these things. <laughs> Create a simple art project. It could be a lantern, it could be a way to light up your porch screen, it could be painting windows, it could be painting green shirts, it could be any project that's yeah. a green shirt day, day activity. You could make a sign for your window in the front of your house too, just or your apartment, just a green shirt day sign. It could be, yeah. and kids could take that home to have that conversation. But most importantly, have fun. Be creative and find a way to celebrate and recognize Green Shirt Day. Make sure to take a picture or pictures of your school involved in Green Shirt Day and post it on social media using hashtag GSD School Challenge, hashtag Logan Willie Effect, or hashtag Green Shirt Day. Just people love pictures, take pictures, post it, it'll be fun. Every school that participates will be entered into a draw to win one of three $50 gift cards at Chapters. And what school teacher doesn't love books? Oh, I love books. I do too. <laughs> okay. I have a lot. Good. Go Green Shirt Day Challenge. Get involved. Be part of the challenge. Have fun. And as we told Logan all the time, work hard, play hard, have fun.